Hey guys, Harvey here. So the other day I stumbled upon this um, quick shelf script that I absolutely love. I've been using it for the last few days and I think that this is going to be incredibly useful for you guys if uh, you feel anything like me. Um, and I think that uh, the old shelf, the old kind of way of using the shelf is going away in favor of something like this. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are, good old Maya. I have my scene set up and basically the script, the way it works, I'm pressing a button right now and as you can see, it's showing up, right? So it's a little teaser. I'll show you more in a little bit, but before we go into it, let me show you how to set it up. So obviously you are going to have your folder with your script. Make sure you drop the script on your version of Maya, whatever you're using, 2020, 2022, whatever it is. Once you have actually um, added it, instead of going to your script editor to uh, action the script, this is going to be a slightly different, right? So if you go to your hotkey editor, uh, it's going to open up. And for all those that haven't used the uh, runtime command editor, this is just a way for you to actually add specific scripts to be actioned by a hotkey. So when you press a hotkey, a script pops up. And in this case, because we have like, you know, the shelf button showing up like this, we need to actually make it happen this way. Now, whenever you have that script in your in your folder, make sure you restart Maya. So when you're here, make sure you go into your custom scripts and then you'll see here, most likely if you haven't used custom scripts before, you will see this empty and then go and press new in order to add a new custom script. So call it in this case, quick shelf. And then uh, you need to add the command line, quick shelf, and then semicolon, something like that. Now I try this and unfortunately when I saved it and I tried to run it, my Maya was crashing. So if this happens to you, try and add the whole script to this section, right? So the way it's going to look is like this, right? It's going to have the whole script contained within your hotkey. Now, once you have this, make sure you save it uh, right here and it will actually give you a pop-up. Your custom script has been now saved, which is cool. And then here, you probably won't have anything, right? You just have this. Now, when you actually have this, you need to add a key. So I decided to add the Q key because I think this key, this key here, because I don't really use it. And normally as an animator, you normally spend a lot of the time here hovering over W E R, which are your tools that you use all the time to move your widget. Um, and move your character and animate, you know, right? So because I don't use the queue, I decided to assign it to this quick shelf. So if you just add queue, all good. Now uh, you're gonna have to add on press showcase on the command, but you're also going to have to add on release. So basically when you press it, it will show up. And when you depress it, it will just disappear. For that to happen, you need to duplicate this, uh, this command here. Uh, this, this script, so you actually add uh, additional keys. Before you add any key, make sure you actually select on release this time and then add the same key. So now we have one on press and another one on release. So that should be it. So I'm not gonna save it because I already have it done. I'm just gonna close this and then you'll see here that this is what's supposed to happen. I'm pressing my Q key and you can see the quick shell right here. And as you can see, it moves with my mouse wherever I go, which is actually quite nice. Now, this is a game changer for me because what happens is as an animator, you want to, especially when you are more experienced, you want to decrease the time that it takes you to do anything. Because what you want to do is spend time here animating things. You don't want to actually have to spend time traveling down with the mouse or doing something that would be better via a hotkey. And the shelf is always being all the way here on the left and then you have to go all the way here. So for example, uh, this here, this button that now is invisible, but you should have an icon. It's actually a snap tool that I use in order to snap one object to the other. So if I actually had an object to snap to another, I would have to select my objects right here on my viewport and then go all the way here, snap it, and then go all here and then animate it or do whatever I want. And that might seem like not a big thing, 
but over time as you use Maya every day and every week and every month and every year that actually counts quite a lot right so you want to be as streamlined and as effective as possible now having to do exactly the same thing and just have this key and do snap that is beautiful right i mean and you can actually do it with anything so for example here in the channel i've already showcased this script so you can just call other scripts within your shelf that you use all the time so i showcase the hider i've also so showcased the, the cycler so i'm not going here pre pressing a button and then going here i'm constantly staying where my mouse is because now my shelf is traveling to my mouse instead of the other way around if that makes sense <laughs> I love this script. It's really cool. Calling the graph editor, same thing. Really cool. Major kudos to Hey W, which is the name of the developer. <laughs> I love the name as well. Uh, make sure you give your your flowers. Make sure you give your kudos to the, to the developer because uh, this actually is a massive lifesaver. Uh, the fact that we can actually use the this shelf button as we would use the the space bar is so so cool. And that's all I had. Now. If you guys haven't checked so far, make sure you check my Patreon if you like these kind of videos because I have lots of perks. And if you're still with me until this point and you really enjoy this, subscribe, hit the like button and make sure you drop a comment down below. Introduce yourself if you haven't so far. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy it. That's all I have for you guys. Until next week, stay well, stay safe. Peace.